Hey, how's it going, YouTubers out there? Johnny55 here, and this video is going to be mainly what I want. I want to see in the next gen console, and also want to see probably how Nintendo should work, should use their console to work, make it better, because they, they should have a chance to make it better. I know some people want to say they have no games for it, but I just want to come out with just a few thoughts, maybe it can become better this way or that way, and just give it out my thoughts as a gamer. Alright, so let's talk about Nintendo, let's start off with them. Um, the consoles, first off, is is pretty high, sadly, so I think they should, have, first off, get a price cut on that, because it's really only 8 gigs and 32 gigs, I mean, I mean, hold on, let me just see, it's like, my, my, hard, my hard drive from my old, old laptop, it got like from 5 years ago or something like that, something like, I don't know, I lost track of it, and this one, has 80 gigs, which I don't know if you can see it. Like, I uh, know you can't really see it that well. Sorry, it's like 80 gigs hard drive right there on a laptop. And this, and maybe she gave the thought to, to the tenor maybe she need a bigger hard drive because it'd be a lot more stuff. Because 32 gigs would not be doing anything. I mean, like, the hell you can you do with 32 gigs? You can buy a what a flash drive that has more gigs than that, it's probably be cheaper. So I don't know what Nintendo doing that like that. So maybe just come like a bigger hard drive for that. Cut the slash slashes, and that's not all Nintendo needs to do. They need to just like make it's like I know they come out with the Sonic, maybe like help out the sales a little bit. But here's the two things I think that they should come out with. Hold on one second. Ah, that water's so good. All right, so maybe they should come out with a um, a new Super Smash Brothers because I know they will. Um, Mario Party, another one, they should come out with that too, and finally, which is still, I'm still a little bit, um, how should I say it, skeptical, I guess, about coming out with a Pokemon MMO for it. Now, I say it's skeptical, skeptical about it, because, well, I don't know if you're using the right word or not for it, but it's about 1 o'clock in the morning, don't have time to look up a dictionary, so you guys gotta deal with it. Um, if they come out with Pokemon MMO for the Wii U, it probably gonna hurt the 3DS because if if they come out with Pokemon MMO, then they probably won't come out any more Pokemon games for the 3DS. So it's probably like all of Pokemon will be switched to the Wii U. People gonna be upset they can't play that on the go. So maybe they come out with thinking about it in a, in a different way. But if they were looking on the other other side of it, they come out with that for the Wii U. You know, tons of people are gonna come out. So, I mean, tons of people are gonna buy that, including me. Actually, I'm. People still play Pokemon. I'm not one of them. You know, I don't play it. I can't afford it right now. It's like it's a lot. A lot of people can't afford stuff right now. It's just tough. But anyways, it will hold the Wii U sales a lot. People will actually buy it and just just keep on playing. I know there's like another Pokemon MMO out there. Seems like the Europe. I try to download it. It's, I just didn't even bother to do it. Just can't need a different file. Like, and I forget it. I just forget, forget about it. I'm going bald. I don't know. I don't care. So I just, I just said forget about it. I'm just like, eh, I just do something else then. But they come out for the Wii U. People will actually like it. I know I will like it. Especially playing on the big tablet. Because I don't want to have to be in my room. It'd be talking to your friends, trading, trading Pokemon. Probably just like, what, put some co op in there and battle other, battle other people. Like three on three and stuff, or play other, or play some other mini games. Even like so many different things you can make on there for the Wii U. It will help to sell. That will help the game sell more consoles and the game. It would be really well too. But once again, it's probably gonna hurt the 3DS and 3DS in the long run. And I don't think Nintendo wants Game Freak to do it. Because it's really Game Freak. I can't believe believe it's owned by Nintendo, so that's why they can't really do it. I think Game Freak does want to do it, but Nintendo says it doesn't. But that's and they probably won't need that many more games. And that's why I say that's why I think that it will help Nintendo out. Now moving on to the Xbox One. Sadly. Mm. Art is so good. I think they could to just completely drop the DD DRM and get rid of that. And to so stop focusing on COD, I mean, maybe because they they put like what a little bit over a little bit over three years, I guess, or maybe less than that, instead of thinking a new console. So they probably just made some more features, 
and they think like COD is going to save them. It's not really going to save them. Of course, there'd be some people that actually going to still buy it, but I mean, it's just not really, not really going to be anything. Because what people will always think that like, COD, they're going to play COD just all day, just buy a console for that. This makes no sense. And people will get bored. Like, what they're going to watch TV? They're going to make buy cable? No, they just you just completely forget about COD. And I say completely forget about it. It's like make it less, less a priority of a game. And then worry about other games. Coming out with better games then. People getting tired of Halo. People getting tired of Forza. Fable. They need to come out with Gears. They just need to come out with a better one. And a TV show for Halo. I mean, come on. Why are you guys just worry about so much stuff? Just make some new games. You're Microsoft. You have tons of money. Billions of money. I mean, billions of money. Billions of dollars. I mean, you made Windows and all this stuff. Maybe just work some other games out. I mean, come on. You have all this money and, you have, and you're paying... People to not show their games for PS4. We'll be using that game just for what to get some PC games like the PS4 is doing to the, your console. I mean, if you just do it like that, that could probably save it. And stop really focusing on like being a, be on, on the couch potatoes. Just like focus on the people or what you like, what you made the console for. It. And it's for games. Of course, it'd be some good features that people want to use. I understand that, but. Really focus on what you why you made a console is for games to be a gamer. That's, that's why you went into the gaming industry because all the stuff that you you guys said people can do it on on their tablets already or the TV. They don't probably need to hold a whole other console that costs who knows how much. And speaking about that, you guys should just probably make it cheap too because it will be very expensive. So you guys should just do like that. Better games, forget, forget about the used games and the publishers. I guess, like, if I know it sucks, probably publishers just probably bring, bring the price down to 40 bucks again. I know it, people will just, spend a lot more money on it. And yeah, so that's really all I had to say about the Xbox One. And now, finally, moving to the PS4. PS4 is really, really doing good. They bring a whole lot of PC games to the console. I really like that. But I think it's like one thing that I like to see is if they have Gankai, Gigai, I, I can't I can't pronounce it, but a cloud service. And like maybe they have that. And if they have probably have a big if, once they announce it during ED, if they have like a big, big hard drive, they should do like some similar to what the PS Plus did. I know it may it may hurt PS Plus or may not. I'm just giving out my thought about it, is that maybe it should, since we have cloud server, maybe like if you guys download a game on your PS4, you could like l let a friend use it for like 24 hours just the max, and like once it's like once it's downloaded, like the system knows that you ready to ready to download this game, so you can't download it for somebody else. Like you could play for 24 hours and see if you like it, and if you guys do, you could just probably play it. And as far as buying it, probably get it from the PS Store like ten dollars off. You don't have to be a PS Plus member. PS Plus member to just get like ten dollars off. Maybe not all the games, because probably if they do that, it'd be like getting the same discount as a PS Plus. Probably not doing that. We're probably it's like something. It's like some benefit benefit off of it. But get downloaded from the PS Store for like full price. Maybe you guys could just maybe that's it's, I can I can't even talk right. Maybe PS4 should just do like that, and maybe it'll help to help itself, help people buy from the PS Store, or maybe buy from the developers. Who know? And that's really all I have for the PS. I wait, no, and I hope the PS4 had a big, big enough hard drive because they have all this games want to do. I know I'll be downloading a lot of games to have that. Um, and that's really all I have to say about these gen consoles. And that's it. So I hope like you guys enjoy this video and like uh, have some thoughts about it. Maybe you like my ideas for what the console should do to be good. Maybe you don't. I don't care. Actually, I do care. I just not not going to make that a big problem. Like we don't agree with me, I'm not going to freak out about it. Just give out my opinions. And if you guys think it's a good idea, let me know in the comment section below. Like me on Facebook. Subscribe to me. Come out with more videos. And yeah, and also I like to see, and, and also I heard Mad Cats is gonna be jumping in the console, 
maybe it was a good time because maybe Microsoft's doing bad, but I don't know. Mad Cats is not really a good company. Like their products, they made headsets probably not that good. So I don't know. I don't know why they're doing it. Maybe they want extra money. I don't know. It's just a th it's just what they want to do. So who knows? Maybe it's a big success. Maybe it's a big fail. All right. So I can thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you guys next time. And Oh, let me just, actually, you know, I, I ain't going to say it. I, I'll just say it on Facebook. All right, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.